Hi, this is JJ at CCBC. In this video, we're going to do a general overview of Audacity. Major topics will be some Audacity resources that are available online, as well as the basic interface elements. I'm using Audacity 2.0.1 on a Mac for this video. So let's get into this. First, let's take a look at what's available online. So Audacity already has several resources out there. First, there's a download page, so you can get Audacity for Windows, Mac, or for Linux. Um, the other thing that's available is a series of tutorials for Audacity. So here's their main Audacity help page, their manual. Um, they have a series of tutorials here. If you click the tutorials link, it actually breaks those five sections down into subsections so you can find topics you're looking for quickly. Um, and it's a really good set of tutorials. I've gone through it and it covers pretty much everything you need to get started with Audacity. So let's take a look at Audacity itself. So here's Audacity. I'm going to go through the menu bar at the top and then some of the interface elements, the tools and buttons just below the menu bar, and then uh, that's about it for this video. So the main menu, Audacity, obviously you quit um, and set general preferences. We're not going to do anything there. File menu is pretty standard, new, open, save project. I'm going to open a file so that as I'm going through this, we have a, a waveform to look at and work with, um, and it'll light up a few more of the menu options if you don't have a file open. Um, Audacity saves Audacity projects. They don't save sound files. In order to create sound files, you have to export. I'm going to do a different video on saving your files, but just be aware, if you want an MP3 or a WAV file, you need to export. If you want to keep your Audacity project, you save it as a project. Next menu is the edit menu, pretty standard edit menu, uh, undo, redo, cut, copy, paste. There's a view menu here, mostly you're going to use the view menu for zooming in and out, um, and there's lots of tools in the interface for doing that as well. The transport menu, this is really just for playing your sound, going back to the beginning, going to the end, uh, and looping your sound. Tracks, this allows you to add new tracks and modify existing tracks. So you see with the file that I opened, currently we just have one track to work with. Generate allows you to generate some special effects. Um, the effects menu allows you to apply effects to existing sounds. Now there's a, a whole bunch of effects here. I'm not going to cover any of them in this video. I'll do a separate video for effects. Analyze is some pretty advanced stuff. We're not going to get this advanced with our sound editing, so I'm not going to cover this menu. Window menu allows you to open and manage your, your windows within Audacity. Right now I have one sound open. You could have multiple sounds open. They would all be listed here. And finally, there's a help menu. So if these videos don't help you too much, you can always go in here and search for additional help and try some of their other resources here. So within the interface, um, I'm just going to go from left to right along the top here and, and view their tools. These are all your playback tools. So you have pause, play, stop. Um, this isn't fast forward and rewind. This is jump to the beginning and jump to the end. And this is your record button. These are a series of other tools. I'm not going to explore all of these. Some of them are a little more advanced than what we're going to have time to cover in this course. Um, this is your selection tool for selecting areas within your sound files. And then this is your magnifying tool, so that you can magnify this waveform and zoom in and out on it. Um, deselect that. There we go. Um, this is your levels. So for your speaker levels, this is your output levels. For your microphone, this is your input levels. So when I'm recording and I want to check my levels, that's what's going to appear up here. Um, this is your speaker air volume, and this is your mic volume, so you can control those separately. Um, this is your cut, copy, paste up here, so you have some buttons right in your interface to cut, copy, paste. Here you can trim your waveform, or you can silence a section of your waveform. And then these last couple buttons are for zooming into your project. So if I wanted to zoom in closer, I can do that. If I want to zoom out, you can see the waveform. And here I can actually zoom to just spread the waveform to fit the project screen so I can see the actual waveform. Um, that's all I really want to cover in this video. The only other things you might be interested in is there's a menu here for deciding what output you want to use for sound. Um, I'm using my regular speakers. And then a menu here for what microphone you want to record off of. Now Macs have a built-in microphone you can use, but they're uh, not conveniently placed. So I'm actually using a plugged-in microphone. I'm wearing a headset right now to get a good 
recording for this video. That's what I want to use to record for Audacity as well. So you can set your recording device in these menus right here. Last thing I'm going to show is basically just how to play a sound. Um, so again, this is my playhead right here. Anywhere I click, that's the current playhead. I want to rewind to the beginning, so that moves the playhead to the beginning of my timeline. If I hit the play button, and uh, you're going to hear the uh, sound play through my speakers. So it's going to sound a little bit different than my voice. Um, it was the only way that I can record the sound coming out of the computer, so bear with me. Okay, so you can actually see the playhead move through the uh, the sound file, the sound wave, as it plays through. It's a very short wave, less than one second, so it probably moves very quickly. I'll play it one more time. All right, so it just kind of skipped across real quick. Um, if I was to want to play a small section of it, I can select an area and just play that part of it. All right, so you see how it's only playing a small portion of the larger sound file. So if you have an, an enormous sound file and you're working with a small section of it, you don't have to listen to the whole thing over and over. You can just select a small chunk and play that. And then uh, if you want to hear the whole thing, rewind to the beginning, hit the play button, and you've got the whole sound file. And that's about it that I want to cover for this video. I'll do another video on the effects, um, how to cut, copy, paste, manage tracks, things like that, as well as how to um, export your sounds for use in your projects. Hope you learned something. See you in the next video.